Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, this is Makela J. I'm coming straight out of Kenya, <laughs> Kenya, Africa. Uh, so guys, it's been a minute. You're probably wondering where I've been all this time. I thank God for the gift of life, honestly, for the gift of good health. And continue like being grateful, like being alive is such a gift. And always value the people in your life, the close people in your life. And how are you doing, guys? It's been a minute. I don't know, like five days or six days ever since I posted a video here. I even feel, I don't know. <laughs> it's so weird. Actually, um, I'm at my father's home <laughs> our home stay there and the reason I've not been posting videos is so much connected to the reason why I'm here right now but I, I just want to know how you're doing guys um, in this beautiful environment you know guys I love nature and just look at these flowers let me let me show you look look at these flowers it looks so lovely actually planted these flowers when i was in high school i'm the one who planted them and the inspiration to plant these flowers is just crazy like guys the person who inspired me to plant these flowers it's just so crazy like i don't even know what to say uh guys the reason i travel here uh, i had planned to, of course to travel and come say hi to my dad but now that i'm here i was brought here by another different reason a very devastating one and guys i lost my childhood best friend like when i tell you she is my childhood best friend i mean a girl I remember when I met her, I was in school. I didn't used to know her until we met in school. I didn't used to know she was like from this neighborhood. Like her home, I can literally see her home as I'm talking right now. Like her home is just like the other side. Right now, um, I remember the day that we met. We met, we were, I was in class one and we met outside the door of the class and I asked her what's your name and yeah she told me her name it was a beautiful beautiful name we became friends we studied together I later came to realize that we, she comes from my neighborhood uh, we had just moved like here so I was also getting to know people and from that day from that first day that she came to our school and I met her. We've been friends from that class one. That was like baby class. We went up to like, we studied primary school for eight years. Then we went to high school. We studied together for four years. And guys, I can't believe right now, my best friend is in her grave right now, okay? Like, I don't know. Like, when I see these flowers, I remember, like, when we were in high school, I went to her home. I saw this, like, they have planted these flowers. And I came and told my mom, their home looks so beautiful. Can we plant the same? And my mom and my dad, they bought these flowers and I planted them. And look at them, they're driving right now. So, I wasn't even remembering that, but it's a memory of her. We created so many beautiful memories and guys it's so like it's so hard to lose someone who's just your age like your age you're not you've not even grown old yet you've not even reached your that is yet yet like it was so devastating it's something that i've been trying to like 
for it to sink inside my head for so long oh my god like right now i can't like the reality of losing her is still not sunk in my head like from the moment i had the news i got so devastated i've been like it became so hard for me to create videos because i i could not have that clear mind that i can do this like the reality of losing such a young person so many dreams so many guys you have cried all the tears uh they are gone i don't have any more tears to cry and like if she can go like it means that is where we are all eh, headed like if she can you know guys it means that is where like all of us are headed it's such a it's a reality that is still yet to sink in my head that someone that i sat together in the same class we became prefects in the same class like we used to be prefects and we had to like prefects are like the class leaders and because we were in the same class uh the teacher our teacher her name was gaki i remember her she used to put us together as prefect because we were so good in class like we were so good in our studies and also other things you know there's so many things that make a good student and we would find ourselves as class prefects and i remember we used to like we had to write bo like names of those who are making noise in class what 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 oh my god it was so beautiful we play together we talk stories together one of my most favorite memories of me and her i remember um i think it was her cousin who used to have a small bike and she used to love cycling just like me and we didn't used to like have water like running water at home and even even them at their home they did not have running water so we'd go to fetch water with that small bike and the only reason me i used to go there is because i really used to love cycling and my i used to tell my dad to buy me a bike and he could not buy me and now when i used to go to their home we would ride that small bike we would either ride it or you know pretend we are going to fetch water and now ride the bike ride the bike ride the bike oh my god it was it was so beautiful we went to the same high school oh my god i remember this day this one time i was bullied i was bullied in high school she stood up for me she was there for me she not exactly stood up for me but she gave me that emotional support at that time and it really meant so much to me like it meant so much we created so many beautiful beautiful memories and guys she was very beautiful oh my god this girl is it she was or she still is but because she's now late i think it's right to say she was beautiful she was very beautiful she was so kind she she was this magnetic to so many people like she was just so kind and i just used to love her so much and right now like the world feels different like ever since i got the news like i feel like a part of my identity went like died with her like she really curated a big part of my identity and yeah it's painful it's painful to lose someone at such a young age guys and their home is not far. like this where i've grown up like this is my father's compound their home is just i just don't want to turn the camera because you can't see it because of the like the fence but their home is just there like i can actually see it i can see their bananas over there oh my god you know guys that's the reason i've not been posting 
because I lost my best friend and like she was like family to me honestly and it has it has such a big impact on me like and on not just on me like on so many young people around here like you know when a, a young girl a young person dies you feel like they've gone without accomplishing so much she had so much potential and they have gone without accomplishing so much she was like the firstborn girl like me okay she she had another firstborn brother but she was like the breadwinner in her family so there's so much i hope her family will be okay i don't know so painful it's so painful guys like losing a young person the last time i lost my classmates i was in class six or maybe some of you call it grade six and they were two boys uh they used to live on the other side of the of the road and one was named gitonga the other one was magu and they were right oh my god they were riding a bicycle and they got run over by a car that time they were really young because in class six how old was they they're like 10 or 11 around there can you imagine losing that is another one that really hit me hard but this one has hit oh my god i just pray that she's resting in peace we have to rest in peace everything happens for a reason and we can't question god's plan we plan our days we go on with our day but god has a plan you know god is doing something like we plan things but god is the one who knows what to do we just pray for a longer life to live longer to be happy not just to live longer but also to be happy and guys one thing i have to tell you like always value the people in your life you can be talking to a person right now and the next minute they are no more like just value everyone in your life that loves you like people memories like all those things all those happy moments all those sad moments with people that is what is called living like you're ready to live so like value every little moment with everyone oh my god i wish i could bring her back right now and give her a hug because i miss her so much honestly i really miss her so much so much so much so much guys uh, one thing i ask of you pray for her soul pray for her soul to rest in peace she deserves to rest in peace she was beautiful not on not only on the outside but also on the inside so that's the reason i've not been posting i was really devastated by this whole thing but right now i have to accept this uh, i feel this emptiness inside my heart right now but god has a plan you know god has a plan anyways thank you so much for watching yeah uh condolences to my friends family to everyone who used to love her yeah i'm so sorry we've lost our friend and let me just end this vlog thank you so much